Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. I hope you had a fabulous week. We're going to start off the video, of course, doing our 15 seconds forgiveness, love, and gratitude boost. Put your hands on your chest. Say, I forgive you. I love you. Send immense love and gratitude. You ready? Begin. There you go. Congratulations for healing yourself 15 seconds at a time and please do that exercise as often as you like throughout the day to help create that emotional anchor of peace, love and forgiveness, mostly peace. And every time you need a quick reset, you literally will have to just put your hand here and you'll feel the heat, I promise, and you'll feel calmer. Try it out. Anyway, continuing on my quest to help make 2022 a more abundant year for you in all areas of your life. I have been personally interpreting some books from my own personal growth library. And we are currently working on this book, Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. Very interesting concepts in this book. So the next thing he talks about in this book is the law of hypnotic rhythm. So what is the law of hypnotic rhythm? It is a subconscious human natural law that slowly solidifies our habits and makes them permanent whether regardless of how powerful or addicting they may be, be, be to us you know so for instance like brushing our teeth is a hypnotic rhythm that we do we've been doing since a child you know so now we do it all the time without even thinking about it and we probably most likely do it the same way each time use the same hand so a little quick challenge try to brush your teeth every now and then with your opposite hand just to throw your brain off a little bit to get out of that hypnotic rhythm but you know that's a um, you know a harmless hypnotic rhythm to be in also driving a car once we learned how to drive a car you know we no longer have to think about it unless we're going somewhere we've never been before we have to pay attention but most of the time if we're going somewhere that we're we've been over and over again you know we're gonna go there without even thinking we're gonna drive without even thinking um, so you know, those are harmless hypnotic rhythms. But what happens when a hypnotic rhythm, you know, starts to hinder your life in some way or create, creates disempowering emotions in your body, which, you know, later on become how you attract your life. For instance, like checking social media all the time or having to check it or, you know, getting on it all day, you know, that has become a negative hypnotic rhythm in our lives now and what happens you know we start to feel negative about our lives because we compare ourselves to other people and we start you know beating ourselves up and thinking you know our lives suck when you know we are a lot richer than we think but because we're comparing ourselves we are creating all this negative emotion inside of us which in turn is creating a negative life on the outside so that's one way you know hypnotic rhythms you know harm us but there's plenty so even if you worked out too much right like if you were addicted to working out and you had to work out at the same time every day it was a compulsion um, and it's taking away from your relationships you know your your relationships are suffering your with your relationships with your children or your spouse or whatever you know that's another way that like a hypnotic rhythm even though you 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 feel you're doing something good for your body but you are it has become like an addiction and so it's about balancing in, in some way. So, you know, what creates the hypnotic rhythm? So how it's created is, you know, things that we do or think over and over and over again slowly become a habit and then our habits turn into rhythms. And it's a survival mechanism in our body is what happens. You know, it, it just is our, body way, our body's way of keeping us safe, but doesn't realize what is good for us or not it just it's programmed to do that it's programmed to hey this is what you've been doing the same way all the time every day and we're just going to make it automatic so that you don't have to think about that just so that you can you know do other things and some of these things a lot of these things are you know disempowering us in a lot of ways so if you um you know have a you know, a rhythm of fear and poverty, then you're going to create poverty in your life. If you have a 
you know, the same is the opposite. If you have a rhythm of expecting abundance and opulence, then that's what you're going to get in your life. You're going to attract that to you. So it goes both ways. So in this chapter, Napoleon Hill says how we change it is by learning to take control of our, our thoughts and, you know, our lives, you know, we have that power to control what we think and how we want to live our lives. So becoming aware of what hypnotic rhythms you may be stuck in that may not be empowering you is number one. So um, number two is what are those things you want to live your life by? You know, what are those standards you want to live your life by you? You know, not what your family has forced on you or your friends or your community or your school or your religion. None of that. You, what do you want to live your life by? Do you even know? So that's the thing. Know what you want. You know, know what you want and how you want to live your life. And then once you know that, then what you start to do is become aware of what you're doing in your daily life when you're feeling negative emotions that's where you check in with yourself why am i feeling this ask the why why am i feeling this oh because i'm about to you know work out and i don't even feel like it right now you know my body's tired or my daughter wants to play and you know i'm you know so that's where you can you know start to try to change these hypnotic rhythms it's hard at first because they're ingrained in you, but the same way you've done them over and over again and created them, you can create new ones. You know, it's the same way. It takes a little harder work in the beginning because you're actually going against yourself. But once you do it over and over again and you create a new hypnotic rhythm, a more empowering one to the standards you want to live by, then you will feel better and you will create a better feeling life and a better feeling life creates a healthier life for you because the better you feel the healthier you feel the happier you feel and vice versa all right i know it's confusing but it's all about our habits but what do you want what habits do you want to create you know so think about what you want to uncreate and do the opposite you know what are those things that you do now that you want to stop doing and then write the opposite and that's where your focus is okay guys so decide what you want and start creating those new hypnotic rhythms you can do this at any age anytime i promise if you need help just reach out click like and share if the video is helpful there's a link to my youtube channel but just know that i love you and got you and it is my soul and heart's purpose that you live happy and healthy now because you can don't have to suffer in this life you don't owe anybody anything but you owe the best and happiest life for you and your soul i promise okay guys so prayers to my first responders out there prayers to my family and friends and we're gonna start a new thing for a few weeks we're how rich are you right so right today we are going to focus on our heart we are going to send love to our heart this organ that beats over a hundred and thousand times a day okay so if you don't believe me check your pulse for 15 seconds multiply it by four multiply that by 60 and then multiply that by 24 and see how hard your heart works all day long okay guys so send love right now to your heart that beats over a hundred thousand times a day okay guys that's right feel it all right, until I see you next week, I love you. Bye. Sorry for the, the noise, but I tried to beat it. Anyway, I'll see you next week, guys. Bye. Mwah.